life has been like rocking recently. Like, I, I know I've been talking about this a lot, but it's still true and I still feel it, so I'm gonna keep talking about it. Um, but like, the job thing is going great, like even better than I expected it to go, and I was way excited about it even before. Um, the friends that I've made over this past quarter, like, I've finally been like trying to do things, right? Like you can't just wait for things to happen to you. Like you, you have to do, like, I feel like the seeds that I've been planting are like sprouting right now. Like my gym going stuff is like so good, right? Like the friends that I've made through school because I've like actively tried to make friends, boom, like making friends, they're awesome. Like super great connections and stuff. My reading, I've been like reading a lot and the books are really good. Okay, I'm reading the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo right now. Guys, the movie, I know, I know, the book is always better than the movie, but this is the most extreme example I have ever seen in my life. Books have been good. Um, I kind of, I want to talk about like addictions at some point. I know I talked a little bit in the, one of my previous vi videos about um, like being addicted and overusing like social media and our phones and the internet in general. I kind of want to talk about some other addictions as well, so I might do that in the future. But I don't know, man. Just everything, it's, it's going good. And it's funny, like I've noticed that it's all been going a lot better personal. It's been going better in my personal life, I suppose, is an important caveat. Um, since I've not, well, actually, I broke up with my, with, with my ex, Alejandra, in, shit, when was it, like, Feb of this year, but, like, kinda in October of last year, so, like, October to February was, like, rough and then like February to like May before I went to South Africa was like rough and then I went to South Africa and the beginning part guys it was hard it sucked um but it got better and I feel like as I've forced myself not forced myself but as I've accepted and taken control of the situation that I'm in now it's been going a lot better I feel like when I'm with a partner like Overall, life is nice. It's sick, it's dope. It's like you've got like these rose colored lenses on, like everything's better, bro. Like every song you listen to is just made better for the fact that like you're in love. Like it just feels good. Um, but this is the first time since I like turned 17 or something that I actually don't actively want a girlfriend like not now nah, don't get me wrong not that I don't want a girlfriend what I'm saying is like I, I don't like I've accepted my singleness and it's great and it's rocking and life is going good and I'm okay with being single actually which is like a very new feeling for me and it feels really good um, and I also feel like you have to be okay with being single before you can get in a relationship because when then you'll truly know yourself and you'll you'll make sure that you end up with a person that's better for you i'm not saying the people that i have been with were not good for me um i don't know if you guys are watching this video right now <clears throat> victoria and alejandra um i'm not saying that oh, i can't even remember what i was saying okay i gotta go because I'm about to pick up Kane, but life is good. I've got friends, work has gone great. I'm reading, going to the gym. My mind, I'm like mentally like happy and stuff. I just, I don't know. Life is good and it just keeps getting better. I don't know what else to say. All right, that, that's it for this little segment. Okay, I wanted to mention this real quick. I went to Newport last night with someone and like we, we got donuts from Seaside Bakery and then we went to the pier and we were just chilling on the pier 
and like talking for like I don't even know how long, like a while. Okay, and I got a message, Kane, and let her let them know that I'm here. Um, yeah, we were sitting on the pier and just like looking out at the ocean and like the lights of the city of I'm assuming like Huntington Beach. I'm not entirely sure, and like the clouds and like it was so beautiful. Like I have never just sat and like stared at the horizon like that for that long like ever in my life and there were some substances involved we smoked a little bit of the weed so that may have like made it extra cool and epic but like i don't know there was just something so magical about the moment and it was just so it was just so beautiful and like yeah no there's a specific point where we were literally like looking at the like so it's cool because there's like one major cloud and like it would like split up and like morph into like different clouds like while we were like sitting there and talking and stuff and like there was a point where we, we were like pointing at the clouds and like looking at them and being like wow oh, it looks like this like i haven't like stared at the clouds since i was a child and it was great and like i think sometimes maybe you might be like a little bored initially and you want to check your phone or do something else or whatever but like sitting in boredom sometimes can show you and unveil things that you never thought you could see <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense i feel like when i talk it's like a little too heady to be understood because it's like like it's it's not so it's for you, so it's not the way that I'd like talk to a human normally, so the thoughts might not come across in an easy to understand way. I don't know why I'm explaining myself, but nah, it was just sick, it was beautiful, and it was so much fun, literally just staring at the horizon for like an hour. The company probably made it epic too, um, but yeah, just my little my little call to action for you um is go out you don't even have to go to somewhere with the horizon bro go to the park and like just stare at the leaves on the tree or something and just do it for like 30 minutes straight like it's gonna be hard i know set a timer on your phone put it away put it out of sight in your bag or like throw it behind a tree or i don't care what you do put it out of sight so you're not thinking about it and just really like hone in on the moment around you and it will be so it'll be life-changing i'm telling you life changing so do it all right we here you're san diego so you don't know shit but by spectrum and irvine i've done a little shroom so i'm feeling a little shroomy right now life is good though good. we just went ice skating 